Welcome to the official character guide for Kami, where you will learn everything you need to know about the techniques of incomparable precision in Street Fighter V. Both Crouching Light Punch and Standing Light Punch are quick attacks that can only do other light normals to cause a small amount of damage, and help you maintain pressure. Standing Medium Punch is your main combo starter that can link into most of your moveset. Crouching Medium Punch can link it to itself and is special cancelable. Jump Medium Punch is a good normal to come down on opponents with, as it has less hit stun than your heavy attacks and can cause a mix up. Crouch Heavy Punch is a good mid range poke and can net you some good damage. You will want to end your combos with Stand Heavy Punch, followed up by a special attack for max damage whenever possible and Jump Heavy Punch is going to be your go-to jump and attack when you're not using Dive Kick. Crouching Light Kick is low and can link into your jab attacks. Follow this up with a special attack for small damage. Stand Light Kick is a good kick up close, and Jumping Light Kick is going to be your go-to cross-up attack. Crouching Medium Kick links from Stand Medium Punch and can cancel into your special attacks. Even though Stand Medium Kick isn't special cancelable like Crouch Medium Kick, this is going to be your go-to normal in the mid-range battle. And use your Jump Medium Kick to beat opponents with a higher jump arc than you. Crouch Heavy Kick will net you a knockdown, but is unsafe on block, so use it with caution. If you're looking for a good anti-air outside of your cannon spike, you can use Stand Heavy Kick as it has a good hitbox above you, and Jump Heavy Kick is going to be your farthest reaching jumping attack. Landing forward throw put you in a prime position to start your dive kick or hooligan mix-up game, so use this if you want to continue to keep the pressure. Kami's back throw will throw him a little bit farther away, and since Kami is primarily an offensive character, you're going to want to save this one to throw them into the corner. Forward heavy kick moves you forward, continuing the pressure. This move gives you a lot of time to hit confirm to get some big damage. Back medium punch has great anti-air abilities and can go straight into your back medium punch heavy kick target combo. Using your back medium punch heavy kick target combo, you can launch him in the air creating a knockdown. You can also cancel this into any of your special attacks. A spinning kick that thrusts Kami forward at her opponent. Each version goes a different distance, while the heavy kick version hits one additional time, and the EX version being projectile invincible. Kimmy's equivalent to a Shoryuken. Each version is invincible and has a different trajectory. The damage on this is higher than your spiral arrow, so make sure to use this if you need to tack on more damage. Make sure to not whip this attack though, as it leaves you in a counter hit state and open for big damage. Kami's cannon strike has to be performed in the air, and is good for altering your jump arc to get in on opponents. Make sure to land this low on the opponent to maximize plus on block advantage. The EX version also puts them in a juggle state. Kami's hooligan attack can end four different ways. You can press kick resulting in a dive kick, or if you press grab, you will grab them on the ground or the air, depending on where they're at. Not pressing anything will send you towards their feet where they have to block low. Kimmy jumps to the wall and then dives towards her opponent. 
resulting in a volley of kicks. Each kick strength travels a different distance, and the critical art is projectile invincible until she makes contact. This critical art is great for punishing projectiles from far away or for combo enders, when Kami needs the extra bit of damage. Kami spins around and hits the opponent with a back fist. Her V skill allows her a quick solution around projectiles. Additionally, her V skill tracks, so it can be a bit tricky for opponents to block when used as they're getting up. If she successfully connects with her V skill, she's also able to go for some serious damage. This is definitely one of the more useful V skills in the game. Kami powers up and gains velocity and rotations on all of her special attacks. She now does more hits and more damage on all of her special attacks, but can only use two before it depletes. Kami jumps behind the opponent and kicks them in the head. This V reversal is one of the few in the game that results in a side switch. Use this whenever Kami is in the corner and needs to get out. Now that we got specials and normals out of the way, it's time to do some combos. Here are a few we put together to get you started. Kami is an offensive footsie character. She'll want to pressure the opponent with her quick attacks and walk speed, forcing them to continue to block as she fishes for counter hits. Once they start blocking, she should then close in for a throw. She can also become a bit tricky thanks to her V-Skill and Hooligan Kick if need be as they track the opponent. Using these three techniques together will result in the opponent constantly wondering what they should do next. Kami is good up close and at medium range, but the further you move out, the worse it gets for her, since the only thing she has to reach far opponents is Cannon Spiral. If the opponent is full screen, there's not much she can really do about it, since she doesn't have a projectile. For anti-airing, make good use of her Cannon Spike attack, as it's one of the best anti-airs in the game. Now for a small recap, Kami has good damage, fast normals, fast walk speed, and a good V skill. She can be predictable if you don't mix it up enough, she has low life, no overheads, so forcing a throw is a must, and has a hard time versus defensive characters. Thanks for watching, and remember, click character select at the bottom to check out the rest of the cast.